Now I want you to notice if you're thinking a lot. Usually we are. We've had, you've had a very thinking stimulated day. And notice if you can tell your mind. I'm going to take a little break. We'll go back to thinking later. If you can't, that's okay, but just notice. Because love making is really about not thinking. And I want you to reach out and I want you to touch your arm. Where there's skin, not a shirt. And I want you to feel with the hand that's touching what it is like to touch the skin. Feel what it's like, not think about, feel what it's like to touch. Now I want you to contrast that with feeling with the arm what it is like to be touched. be touched. Now go flip back to the touch, the hand that is touching. Feel what it's like to touch this skin. Now flip it around again and feel what it's like to be touched. So in love making, you're going to want to feel what it's like to touch. Sometimes you're going to be the active toucher. And now let's flip to being touched. Sometimes you're going to be the more receptive touchy. It's beautiful to play back and forth, isn't it? Now. Expand your consciousness a little bit to feel both of those things at the same time. Try to hold in your awareness the feeling of touching and being touched at the same time. Sometimes this can be confusing in lovemaking and we'd rather focus on one or the other. Sometimes it's delightful, it depends where we're at. Now, I want you to keep that touch, and I want you to think about what you're going to have for dinner tonight. And I want you to do some multiplication tables so you won't come. And think about the baseball scores. And notice what happens to the awareness of touch when we start thinking of the future or of thoughts. Notice what happens to your awareness of that touch. Okay. Let your thoughts drop. Come back to your awareness of touch. Come back to the room. Anybody have something to share about what they noticed in that exercise? Sure. When uh, you're thinking of the future or scores or whatever, the sensation of touch, you don't become aware of it as much. It just disappears, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's okay. totally, you know, no moment present and it's obvious. Right? Okay. Nobody so you're, you're missing touch at that moment. The partner's missing you at that moment. There's a little bit of resistance to like feeling the touch instead of just doing the touching. It's yeah, because you've been told you're supposed to be the toucher, right? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anybody else notice that it's easier to touch mm -hmm. than to feel uh, be res uh, relaxed and feel the touching? Yeah. That's, that's what you said, right? Yeah. 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 I noticed um, when you notice both the touching and being touched. It was really more like a um, 
unifying um, experience. Like it almost just, I don't know how to explain it, it's like just one thing. Like, one thing. Yeah, it was just one thing. We can't one. That's all. Like the yin and the yang. Yeah. Anybody else? As I was touching my arm, I felt uh, it travel up towards the heart area. Okay. Um, so I, I was touching my arm like here. Okay. And I would feel, I could just feel the whole connection into here. Mm -hmm. uh, so I was going to touch it. Awesome. I actually feel when I was focusing on so I'm trying to deny both of them. You could almost feel all of a sudden like a pulsation start around the area that I was touching, like there was more energy in the when both were like, Okay, so when consciousness comes to touch, all kinds of seemingly metaphysical things can happen. Okay, we can be touching, uh, thinking about what I'm going to do next. Aren't I supposed to rubber breast next? What am I supposed to be doing next? Okay, and until we feel secure in our skills, we might be doing that, but it brings us away from being actually able to feel when we can be totally present in the touch. Metaphysical things can start happening, like, whoa, the energy's moving at my arm. Whoa, there's little sparks happening. Okay. That's just the beginning. Because when you start being really present in sex without thinking, all kinds of stuff is ahead. All right? But it starts with this, can I be present to this touch? So a beautiful way to learn Tantra, you can take classes, you can take books, you can do all kinds of seminars, all kinds of things, but a lovely thing is to sit with your partner, with yourself, and meditate. Do a meditation on just what is my feeling in this moment without thinking.